right, it's happy time, people. Welcome back to the Daily Wrap. It must be time for yay or nay. First up, the Democrats only have two official choices for president, Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders, at least until tomorrow, when Martin O'Malley tosses his hat into the ring. Anyway, aware that some voters may be confused over which candidate they should or should not choose, The Daily Show host John Stewart tried to help clear up any confusion last night. Take a look. No, the real difference is that Hillary Clinton has professional image handlers telling her, hey, Hillary, you might want to comb your hair. And hey, Hillary, instead of using your actual voice, maybe try to sound more like you're always from whatever region it is you're talking to. In fact, here's the Illinois-born, New England-educated New York senator speaking in South Carolina. I'm aware I may not be the youngest candidate in this race, but I have one big advantage. I've been coloring my hair for years. Now, anyway, if y'all excuse me, I gotta go get Shelby's juice. She's having a fit. Where are my fried green tomatoes? Listen up, Secretary Clinton. I'll do the Lindsey Graham impressions around here. Thank you very much. So, do you think that voters are buying Hillary's South Carolina accent, Jonathan Gilliam? I think it's as creepy as, um, <laughs> as um, Bill Clinton on Orgy Island. It just is weird. Wow, yeah. wow. Jonathan. Trying to start that early, <laughs> huh? <laughs> you know, Bill can be whatever he wants to be at any moment he wants to be it. Hillary, well, she's like an Elvis impersonator. She may not learn the lyrics, but she still can't carry the tune. Ooh, well said, Mr. Uh, just skip over me. I'm really embarrassed by the whole thing. So. <laughs> <laughs> How she did it during the last campaign, too. You think yeah, maybe we did. learned not to do that anymore. <laughs> anyway, moving on to something a bit more serious. Beer giant Anheuser-Busch has stopped beer production at its Georgia brewery in order to help the American Red Cross provide water for storm victims in Texas and Oklahoma. The company is set to make about 50,000 cans of water to help in the relief effort following the heavy storms and floods that have left 25 dead, more than a dozen missing, and thousands of homes damaged in both Texas and Oklahoma. This is really a great effort by the company that has recently gotten a lot of flack for being insensitive. Is this a case of going above and beyond the call of duty to help others in time of need, Mr. Gillian? Well, I'm from Arkansas. I'd have to say yes, but I think they'd be a lot happier in Texas if they just sent them beer. You know, we talked about that <laughs> earlier, and perhaps that, that, that might be done eventually. Well, yeah. remember why beer was invented, because they couldn't That's trust right. the water, That's right. and if you made beer, it wasn't polluted, it wasn't That's right. tainted. That's true. That's how it started in this country. Uh, I say good for them. It was a very cool thing to do. And uh, big thumbs up. Absolutely. We, we always bash corporations all the time, and they, they're not doing enough, and they're greedy, and, and it's, it's good to see that kind of altruism. Anyway, last night at the 2015 Scripps National Spelling Bee, that's always a good time. This year, contest ended in a tie for the second time in 52 years. Let's take a look and listen to the winners. Uh, there's just Sharon Schnitter. Sharon Schnitter. S C. H E R E N S C H N I T T E. Sharon Schnitta. Correct. <laughs> Nun attack. Nun attack. <clears throat> Nun attack. N U N A T A K. Nun attack. Correct. <laughs> Vanya Gunkel, you are the 92nd amazing champions of the Scripps National Spelling Bee. Congratulations. Okay, so forget spelling those words for a moment. Have you ever heard of those words I, in your you, life? You know what? I was going to say, can any of you tell me what that word means? Schnitten, whatever the heck I can, it was. but I'm not going to. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's German. But the thing I is, I no mean, we, I we ran out of English words. We got to go to German words. I mean, that's impressive. Mr. Never Clark. heard it. It's impressive how much better these kids were than previous spelling bee winners. Yeah. I mean, this is a level of proficiency and memorization that's awesome, beyond you awesome. Spell proficiency. P R O F yes I C I E N C. Okay, just one of the people got in the spot. He did a good job. Anyway, panel, great job. I know we have a happy hour to get to. Yeah, albeit. it's Friday, baby. That's true. So we thank you for being here. Thank you, Mr. Fun, Mr. Gillian. Right appreciate it. it. Thank you for joining us. I'm Joe Concha. Newsmax Prime with JD Hayworth. That's next.